Hey guys, I thought it would take a couple of minutes and try to address some of the questions. I seem to get an awful lot of questions and many of them are repetitive. Oftentimes they're sent to me, sometimes on Instagram, sometimes on my Facebook beauty page, which if you are not joining me there, if you're not there, um, you might want to consider heading over to Facebook and um, finding my beauty page there. I have to get better at updating it a little bit more, but that is usually where a lot of people send me direct messages. So anyways, the questions that I keep getting over and over again is my Retin-A use, my Tretinoin. How, how am I using it? How often am I using it? Why do I buy it overseas? Why can't I just use, you know, a, an American pharmacy, etc.? Why won't my insurance cover it? So a lot of questions like that. Buying a Retin-A overseas is not for everybody, and I'm not advocating that that's what you do. I'm, I've always said anything to do with your, your skin, your eyelashes, your hair, your, you know, any cosmetics, any procedures, anything you want to do or products you want to try, you need to do your own research on it. You really do. And the same thing with buying any kind of medication. And, and tretinoin, uh, Retin-A is a prescription medication. It is a serious medication. So buying anything like that overseas has obviously some risks and you need to really analyze and assess the risks. Before I go into any details, I do have a separate checking account and I've advocated that for anyone. In my, my community, my bank, I can open up a free checking account. I do have to have, uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know, maybe I had to open it up with $50 at one point, but at this point in time, it's totally free. I do pay for the checks themselves, obviously, but I only use this checking account to buy overseas products. That's it. So. When I buy my Tretinoin, and I do buy it from Reliable RX Pharmacy in India, and there are several other pharmacies in India, and there are several other women on YouTube who buy from those pharmacies, they buy their Tretinoin because it is so much more affordable. But when I buy it, I pay by e-check. I don't pay by credit card. I don't pay by any other method. I pay by e-check. This way, I don't have to deal with any kind of an exchange rate. And I always use the e-check on the checking account that I set up particularly for that. That checking account, maybe only tops ever has $100 in there, if it does. You know, most of the time it's more like 50 or 60. I pay by e-check when I order overseas. So what I have been doing, and this Tretinoin I have, um, this is a 1% cream. And this was actually gifted to me from one of my subscribers. You know who you are. Thank you so, so much. Who had, I think, traveled and was able to pick this up. What am I doing? I order from Reliable RX. I place an order maybe every four or five months, depending on what it is. I usually split the order with my sister. Sometimes my hairdresser goes in on it. You know, it depends on who needs it and what's going on. So my sister had gifted me, and this is the Hydroquinone, 4% with the Tretinoin, 5% Hydroquinone. This is Trulimia, Trulima, and this is the one that I've been using for my dark spots, my sun damage, my age spots. This is pretty strong, and so I don't put this all over my face. And what I do is I dab this on the areas where I have my spots here. And here I dab it on there and I dab it in and then I will take my regular tretinoin and I will put that on the rest of my face not on top of what I just put the you know the hydroquinone on I put it on other spots I don't put them on top of each other then I will take my weakest and I've mentioned this many a times right now what I have left in my weakest is the 0.05 I put a good size dollop in my hand with my rosehip seed oil and I mix it and I go all down my neck and into my decolletage and I, I do this this is what I have been doing this is what works for me I do my tretinoin maybe four to five times a week now I listen to my skin so just because I'm doing it four times a week doesn't mean that you can you have to listen to your skin my skin goes through especially when the seasons change goes through astronomical flaky periods I exfoliate my skin but I always am concerned about using too much product 
too much you know product on that so I'm very very careful I have a microderm um, exfoliation microderm abrasion system that I use and I use that for a deep exfoliation I probably use it once a month now you know maybe you know once or twice every six weeks but usually once a month I'm doing that I have a few other gadgets that I use on my skin but I make sure that I layer that in the sense of timing I I don't want to do too much at once sometimes especially you know if your skin is really flaking sometimes letting it go and just moisturizing moisturizing is better than adding more acids um, I do use a glycolic acid I do use lactic acid not at the same time not one after another I alternate when I'm going to use them and again it all comes down to listening to your skin I find that when I use my lactic acid my skin reacts more than the glycolic acid I think I have more of a tolerance for glycolic acid than lactic acid but my tretinoin I buy it in Reliable Rx. I'm going to insert a screenshot so you can see what I do and I just purchase it it does always ask about a subscription I do have a subscription but I have never uploaded it to them I have never had to share it I've just gone to the next step and I've never had a problem ordering the orders come in for me so far they've been very very responsive they've come very quickly the money is taken out of my checking account I don't have to deal with an exchange I never worry about it because there's hardly any money in that checking account to begin with and, um, and I use it just for that so for me reliable rx and it has a um there's a, another another company that is like the sister company i can't remember the name of it off offhand all day all day chemist or something like that they're the same company they're the same company same basic prices you can buy some some tretinoin from other companies in the states and what they're doing is they're buying it in bulk from these companies in india and then sen selling it that's why they can sell it so much cheaper I'm just buying it directly from India and if you look at their site the pharmacies their manufacturer I should say it's Johnson & Johnson it's well-known manufacturing companies that we buy our drugs from all the time here in the States the tretinoin that I buy with my insurance when I looked at it at various points in time is over $300 in India it's about seven bucks plus shipping and every now and then there's specials on shipping as well so you know that's what I'm doing please 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 if you're going to do it think about setting up a separate checking account if you can't get a free checking account you know then maybe you can go into it together with somebody else and split the fees or something because like I said you know I will order it and sometimes my sister and I go together sometimes my hairdresser joins in and I'll order a, a number of stuff and that way it's a little bit less expensive for shipping because shipping costs are the, is really what is more astronomical. I will, was also ordering my initial CarePost from Reliable RX. So if you're if you're into CarePost, you can buy that significantly cheaper through the pharmacy in India. I use Blink; it's the same thing. Comes out to be the same price, and I like it a lot. So um, you know, so it, it's up to you what you end up doing, but you have to. You have to listen to your skin I can talk about what I do where I buy it but that's me and that's not you so I'm sharing what I do and you can investigate if you want and think about whether or not this is something you want to do or not but you know to me having a separate check-in account opening that up and keeping it that way has just been really the best option for me I do go see my dermatologist I go once a year I've had two um, sun basal cancer is it basal cancer um, removed and um, one here and one on top of here so my skin is is screened all the time because of that and I make sure that I you know the best protection to me in my opinion that you can do for your skin for anti-aging is to use sunblock and sunblock 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 I, I use several different sunblocks I try to have a little bit of SPF in my foundations and I wear a lot of hats when I'm outside in the summertime and it's it's all about preventative protection in that sense so you know I'm, I'm gonna get older I know there's no preventing that but 
I'm trying to slow the process down and I'm doing all the stuff to take care of my skin so it makes no sense if I don't protect my skin with sunblock. So to me the biggest thing is sunblock. I hope that answers your questions. You have to do what works, what makes sense for you. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you should do it. But I wanted to answer that in a video. Hopefully you'll find this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below. Maybe I'll do another video if I get a lot of the same questions, but I feel 100% confident buying my tretinoin the way I buy it. So that's it guys. Thank you so much. I will talk to you later.